Welcome to Art Beats. This is Susan from the Community Library of Allegheny Valley. Today we will discover Michael Albert, an American pop artist. Michael Albert is a New York pop artist born on October 14, 1966 in Far Rockaway, New York. He has been creating art since his college days at New York University, where he studied business. His art has evolved from doodles with pen and ink, to wax oil drawing, to the cubist mosaic cereal box collages for which he has become nationally known. When making the highly detailed and colorful collages, Albert uses the cardboard packages of cereal boxes and other famous consumer brands, including cookies, crackers, tea, oatmeal, and others. All of Albert's original art is handmade by the artist without the use of computers. He continues to create new art regularly and runs collage workshops at schools, museums, and special events for children of all ages. Through his own interpretation of historic and epic events, Michael Albert shares his vision of American popular culture. Let's learn about pop art and collage. Pop art is a movement that emerged in the mid to late 1950s in which artists incorporated commonplace objects, comic strips, soup cans, newspapers, and more into their work. This includes famous celebrities like movie stars and rock stars, commercial items like soup cans and soft drinks, comic books, and any other items that are popular in the commercial world. Pop art is a style of art based on simple, bold images of everyday items painted in bright colors. There are a number of ways that artists use these items to create art such as repeating the item over and over again, changing the color or texture of the item, and putting different items together to make a picture. Collage is a type of artwork in which different kinds of materials are pasted onto a flat surface to make a picture. These materials can be pieces of anything, from paper and photographs to cloth and buttons. Serialism. The first cereal box creation occurred in 1996 when Michael Albert found an empty box of cereal. One day, after a few years of collaging old photographs, stickers, and junk mail, he decided to use a cereal box in his art and created the first serialism collage out of a frosted flakes box. And a quote from Michael Albert, I love to do collage. I think the cutting and pasting to me is very relaxing and even therapeutic. I love using materials you would otherwise throw away and doing something with it. Albert is the author of An Artist America, Henry Holt in 2008, an artist's autobiography written for a young and grown-up audience. This book features reproduction of collages, which form the basis of Albert's introduction to his own artistic journey and passion for promoting the use of recycled materials in art. The following slides are examples of his artwork found in this book. Examples of Michael Albert art from his book, An Artist's America. Frosted Flakes number one, Portrait of an American Classic, on page 17. This is the first collage he made using a cereal box cover. Tricks, Master Serialist Portrait, on page 20. Captain Crunchberries, on page 21. Notice the use of the swirl shape in the Cap'n Crunch Berries collage. Etude, Study in Candy Logos, on page 30. Notice that the candy is featured in alphabetical order. Can you count how many are in the collage? The Pledge of Allegiance, on page 40. 
What a challenging use of cut-out letters to list all of those words. Albert picked 50 brand icons to represent our 50 states. Our at-home art activity, inspired by Michael Albert, is a serial box collage art project. Materials you will need, cardboard packaging from a consumer brand, such as a cereal box, cracker box, cookie package, frozen pizza, glue, white or clear glue, or a glue stick, scissors, and a piece of cardboard for the collage base. You can use the back of a cereal box, and it should be approximately 8 by 10 inches in size. Getting started. First, cover your workspace area. Second, choose an empty brand name cardboard box. Open it up and cut the front panel off. Use the back panel as your collage base. Trim as needed. Third, using scissors, cut up the front panel into random pieces. Fourth, place the cut up pieces onto the cardboard base. You can put the pieces back like the original or mix them up. Remember to leave a small space in between the pieces. Arrange and move them around and make any changes to your design now before you glue them on. Fifth, glue each of the pieces down to cover the base. Let dry. Now you can show off your artwork. You can use a cereal box, some other cardboard brand packages, or even cutting out letters and making a statement. The brilliant collage art of Michael Albert is truly amazing. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.